In this LiDAR data set, we got a 0.49 centimeter standard deviation accuracy from the LiDAR data compared to 141 check shots from a total station. Let me show you how we were able to accomplish that. Right here, we're looking at 3D point cloud data captured by the ROC R3 Pro LiDAR system on the DJI M350 drone. The mission was flown manually, full manual, down, back, down, back, two passes, two down, two back. It was done manually and about two to three meters per second going forward, you know, just as, as, mu as well as you can do it. You can kind of see the flight lines right there, not super straight, not like a, a robot did it, a human flew this. And the guy who flew it has only been flying for about one to two weeks flying ladder missions beforehand. So a very new pilot was able to do this. And what we were trying to do is do a test study for this company who uses a uh, total station to look at bridge girders. They build bridges. And one of the things you have to do is these girders, which is shown here, they need to know exactly what is the bend of the, the girder. So unloaded, and when they load, they kind of bend down a little bit. But they also need to know geospatially exactly how high one side is, how high the other side is, the exact location of everything. Everything needs to be built within a perfect spec because these are bridges, they are high in the air, and any small uh, deviations could cause big problems in the future. So the challenge was they have a surveyor that goes out there today and uses a total station, and they will actually get up there on a, on a cherry picker or walk this and measure these girders in multiple points. And so they wanted to see, can we safely do it using drone LiDAR? And so they chose the Rock R3 Pro to see if th that would work for them. And they challenged us to come down and fly. And they're going to withhold the 141 check shots that you can see here in the data set. Those were not used in the production of this data. And they gave us three control points, one where we put our base station, and two more, which we used just to align the data set, make sure everything looked good. And then we just compared it to all of their 141 check shots. And that is where we get this 0.34 centimeter mean and 0.49 centimeter standard deviation. Guys, this is insane. I didn't expect this myself, but a half a centimeter is very impressive. Wow. So that's, I'm very honestly, very impressed with this. So that's five millimeters. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the data set a little bit more in detail. So we can see how the, all these girders and the geometry is showing up really well. We can see, you know, just empirically, just looking at it, how accurate and well lined up all of the, the green dots. Those are the 3D points from the check shots from the total station loaded here into the rock cloud. And it honestly is just, just very impressive to me. And I think it should be to you as well, because we're looking at three dimensional point cloud data from a drone and, you know, there's wind, there's someone manually flying it. And to see all that movements and dynamics, you're still able to resolve this three-dimensional point cloud to this level of accuracy is something that you really don't see, you know, in many other systems or uh, places around the world. So I'm, I'm honestly besides myself. Yes! Hell yeah! Now guys, everything you're seeing here, I'm gonna have in the link down below. You'll be able to see this data set, look at it yourself. You'll also be able to read that accuracy report that we I just showed you here a second ago. So all that content is available for you to go ahead and explore on your own. And if you have any questions or anything that you wanna learn a little bit more, a little intricacies about this, leave it down in the comment below. That's gonna guide me into the next video I'm gonna make. I'm gonna start putting out a lot more content such that you guys can get all of your questions, uncertainties answered about what this technology is and how does it work in your workflow. Stay tuned because coming up, I'm gonna have a video on how to integrate SLAM LiDAR and aerial LiDAR and mobile LiDAR into one data set. And I have a whole new release of new features with the ROC R3 Pro. We're releasing Colorized SLAM, releasing GCP alignment with the SLAM. We're also gonna release a workflow of integrating the aerial to the SLAM data that makes everything buttery smooth and accurate every time. And I also have a video where I'm gonna show a big lacking of every drone LiDAR system and a workflow to get around it. So make sure you like, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos like this because I have a lot more to share with you. But for now, let's go ahead and sign off, look at this data set and just marvel at the accuracy of it. All right. I'll see you on the next one. See ya. All right, one more thing before you go. 
This is a message to all the creatives, the innovators out there in this community watching this video right now. If you're as passionate about drone LiDAR, SLAM, data processing, and all the connective tissue of support that we offer, and I try providing these videos, we want you to join our team. We're assimilating the best team of the most passionate expertise people out there to join us on a mission to create the best 3D mapping LiDAR technology in the world. So if you think that's you, if you love this content, if you are dedicated, experienced, then reach out to us. Join our team. You can always reach us at jobs at rockerbox.com. All right, I'll see you on the next one.